My project is about solar cells and how to make solar cells more efficient. So basically a solar cell needs to do four things. First of all, it needs to absorb as much sunlight as possible, then use the energy of this sunlight to create charge carriers, electrons and holes in the solar cell material, then separate the electrons from the holes and finally collect these charge carriers as a moving current that we as consumers can use as electricity. So typically today, solar cells are made of silicon. And here you see a silicon wafer. We can see that silicon is almost like a mirror, very uh, reflective. But as said before, we want to improve the absorption of sunlight. So actually, we want to minimize this reflection. So how can we change the reflection of a silicon surface? The concept of my project is to apply nanostructures, like the ones seen here, uh, on a silicon surface. Because what happens is that these nanostructures uh, make the silicon darker and uh, less reflective. Here you see a, a silicon wafer, but now with the nanostructures on the surface. And uh, you might see that it's uh, much less reflective than uh, regular silicon. It can be hard to see this effect with uh, the naked eye, but the effect can definitely be uh, measured. So on this figure, the red line is the normal blank uh, silicon, and the blue line is the nanostructured silicon surface. And uh, it's very clear to see that these nanostructures uh, reduce uh, the reflectance of the silicon significantly. And this is actually a very desired property for a solar cell because now we uh, assumingly get uh, better absorption and this can hopefully lead to a more efficient solar cell. So the efficiency of a solar cell in general is defined as the amount of energy in the incoming sunlight compared to the amount of electrical energy that we generate. And these efficiencies uh, are seen on this figure. So while the normal silicon solar cell has an efficiency of nearly 8%, the nanostructured uh, solar cell has an efficiency of nearly 12%. So this is actually an improvement of about 50%. And now the potential is that if we can achieve this kind of improvement on optimized commercial solar cells, then these nanostructures can actually improve solar cell efficiency in general. And considering that these nanostructures only take four minutes to fabricate in a relatively simple process, the nanostructures actually have the potential of making solar cells a much more cost-efficient renewable energy source for the future.